Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we got this Kohler 7000 series engine. We're going to go over some of the upgrades you can make to this to make it more reliable, to make the maintenance easier, and to ultimately make it last longer. Whether you have this engine currently on one of your pieces of equipment or whether you're going to replace your engine with the Kohler 7000 series, these upgrades will help you. The main thing with this is it requires no major engine modifications. They're pretty straightforward and easy to do. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons as we go along if you enjoy the content. First thing I like to mention is the oil type, the oil weight, and the filtration of the oil. The oil is a thing that's going to give your engine more and more life as long as you keep that clean. You want to use a good oil, you can use a standard oil or you can use a synthetic blend or you can use a full synthetic. The full synthetic is going to give you a lot better protection across broader temperature ranges. We normally use a standard 10W30 synthetic blend, but we offer the upgrade to our customers. Spend a little bit more money and you do get that better protection out of your engine. Filtration on this. It comes with a standard filter, which is pretty small, doesn't offer as much filter element inside it, and it's not quite as tall as the pro version, which is gonna keep it a little bit cooler and give it a little better flow, which ultimately leads to more engine life. Choose the upgrade filter and it's as easy as screwing it on. It's not difficult to switch that out along with the oil. The oil is not difficult to switch out at all as long as you have a nice drain on it. Some of these don't even come with a drain hose or anything, they just come with a plug in the side. If yours has a plug in the side, all you've gotta do is add a drain hose. It's pretty easy, you unscrew the one that's on there and you screw in a new one. That'll allow you to maintenance the machine and keep the oil changed when it's supposed to be without having to do hardly anything at all. Quick and easy change out. Then you're all set and ready to go. Next, we wanna talk air filtration. So you've got a standard air cleaner in here. On most of these, it does an adequate job, but it's rather small. It's not a large element filter. They make a few different upgrades you can make to the air filter. You can actually make one that's a commercial canister style filter. It's about $200 and it requires a little bit more than this, but there's an easy way to get a little bit closer to better filtration without doing all that. So this is your standard filter. It's pretty small, I'd say in general, but you can upgrade to the larger filter by simply removing the cover and installing the larger filter and a larger cover that just goes down on there and locks in like the other one. This is what they put on a lot of the pro series of this engine out there. And it has almost twice as much filter area. Cheap upgrade, simple upgrade, and you don't have to go through the couple hundred dollars uh, and a bunch of hassle of putting on the pro version. This is sold as a pro version with that larger element filter in many cases, but they do, again, make that upgrade kit where you can even go one step further, especially if you're trying to use it in a commercial setting. You may want to make that upgrade and make that little bit of investment. The better you keep that oil filtered, along with more often that you change that oil, directly correlates with how long that engine is going to last. You don't want that oil to get dirty, you don't want the filter to get dirty, and you don't want to pull contaminants into the oil that will cause engine wear. One of the biggest complaints I get from mechanics on this engine is a lack of serviceability for the valve train. If you have to service the valves or adjust the valves or you have a bent push rod or need any work done on the valve train, you've got to open the cover, which is sealed with Permatex. And once you scrape all that off, um, use a wire brush or however you get it all off, you've got to re-Permatex it and put it back on. And it takes a significant amount of time. And then you've got to wait for it to dry. Well, the upgrade to this, Kohler actually offers a kit that goes with composites. So it's got composite replacements. They just have a gasket that goes in here. And then, so you clean that all up and you'll just install the composite cover in the place of the original metal ones. That's great. They also have an aftermarket version that's completely metal. So it's an aluminum, which I think honestly is better than the composite that Kohler offers in their kit as a replacement. The thing I like about the aftermarket also is it does come with a few different options. So no matter what size or what style Kohler that you have, 
It actually comes with three valve covers to make sure that even if yours has a breather on the top of the tube over there, as opposed to the fuel pump on that side, that you're covered. Or if it's the style like this one is, you're also covered. So it comes with three, as opposed to just the standard smaller hole. It comes with that bigger hole. So no matter what, if you do not have a fuel pump built into the top of your valve cover on a Kohler engine, this replacement will work for that. Great upgrade there. And then whenever you adjust the valves or whenever you do some valve work, you don't have to mess with that whole thing. It's just a, it's a mess and it takes a lot of time and everybody's frustrated with it if you've ever done it. And if you're frustrated with pulling the valve cover and getting the valve train serviced, then you're a lot less likely to do it. If you're wanting to keep maintenance, you've got to adjust the valves periodically on this and you don't want to mess with that whole Permatex thing every single time you go to do it. That or if you ever have an issue, you don't want to wait for that Permatex to dry before you get back into action. Saves you a lot of time, saves you a lot of frustration with that. As long as you keep your oil, oil filtered good by upgrading the air filter, upgrading the oil filter, keeping good oil in it, and allowing yourself easy maintenance on this engine, your engine's going to last for years and years and years. Most engines that get a bad name get that bad name because of lack of maintenance and because people do not take care of them. You've got to take care of your engine and any engine that you take care of will last you for a very long time. You've just got to service it. Servicing and maintenance is key to any piece of equipment, whether it's an engine, a mower, a trimmer, any of that needs to be well taken care of. Hopefully this helps you out if you had this engine on your equipment or again, that you're replacing uh, your Kohler 7000 on for an engine you currently have, even if you're doing a commercial version. Hey, maybe go with the upgraded air filter. Uh, maybe you just go with the little bit taller air filter because it's much cheaper. You're only about a $20 upgrade for a new cover on that and a bigger air filter when you go to replace it. All of these things are quick and easy simple and cost effective to save your engine in the long run. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.